A sure sign of spring, orange cones on the road. Repaving programs are in full swing in cities around the area. They are, and Elkhart crews are tackling some of the streets that are hit hardest by winter weather. WSBT 22's Edwards just looks at the process involved. Paving crews began the season on a stretch of Lexington Avenue on the city's west side. Special milling machines grind up the existing asphalt, which is then recycled and reused as pavement. Glenn Booth, who lives off of Lexington, knows the street gets a lot of wear and tear. I just can't believe the traffic. You know, people going to school, back to the factories. They, this road is just a really a busy road, and, and it needed repair. And I'm glad to see that they're doing it. All told, the city plans to repave 15 to 16 miles of roadway, spending around $1 million. So we just go by, actually, the roads that are in the worst condition. We hope to be running the program up to October 15th, around then, and then we turn over and turn to a LEAF program. He says even with a milder winter than the year before, and not as much snow, there was still a fair amount of repaving to do. I don't think we had as much freeze and thaw as we did two winters ago, but still we did have a lot of damage to our roads. To begin the actual paving season, there has to be a series of weather factors that fall into place for the milling and paving work. The biggest of those, no snow, no cold temperatures, and having the sun out if possible. We need to be above 45 degrees and rising to pave, and it needs to be dry. And springtime, those are both issues we have to deal with. At Ernstus, WSBT 22 News. And Elkhart Street crews are also out crack sealing and patching potholes in addition to the paper.